I'm Tom Kirk. I'm Chief Operating Officer for Geomagic. Geomagic is a leading provider of 3D software used to capture reality and make digital models from it. We like to think of ourselves as a very innovative company internally, but frankly a lot of our innovation is driven by the way our users use our product. A great example we would point to is custom prosthetics for people who've been injured. What was a very mechanical, industrial looking limb can be customized with colors that match their motorcycle, or you can put a sock on it if they're a soccer player. One of our users used our products to capture the Statue of Liberty, not something we would have ever considered, and as a result, we have to start to think about should those be markets and users that we should help serve. Geomagic today is a pretty international company. Roughly 60% of our revenues come from outside of the United States. About eight months ago, we released a version of our product uh, in Brazilian Portuguese, also in Russian, also in Czech, uh, to leverage those, those users. We try and get out into the local community and interest students in our tools and technology. We kind of view the students as the stewards of, of our business and the manufacturing economy. So we have a, a, a self-interest in making sure that students are interested in technologies. Hi, my name is Michael Fortson and I'm the creative director for Figure 8 Technologies. And we are a game development and software company. What makes for an exciting game are the visual dynamics that happen. Highly involved, lots of color, lots of contrast, lots of movement. There's no magic bullet. Like, I mean, you, the, the last game you made could have been a huge success. And you make another game just like it, however, maybe you reskin it with different graphics and nothing. Everyone is involved, from designers to owners to programmers. Uh, occasionally uh, customer service rep. So getting everyone involved like that really helps us to find and noodle a game which get the best out of this project. Our company culture is fast pace, get the do job done, get it done as efficiently as possible, and just be a rock star at what you do. It's a fun place to be and the sky's the limit. Hi, I'm James Hartzell, co-founder and president of Skookum Digital Works. We are a custom mobile and web application development company. The way we came up with Skookum Digital Works was it was an available domain name for a couple of uh, college roommates. It means well-built, uh, with, built with integrity. Um, it's a Chinook Indian word, and that's where it came from. But really, it's just a cool name that people remember. Most of what we can do is hire smart, intelligent people, experts in the industry. The way you attract the most talented people is to give them difficult problems to solve. There's plenty of tech talent in Charlotte. They're just hidden in banks mostly. So, you know, we're a refuge for that. From time to time, we like to take our guys out for team building. But we can't just, you know, go out and have a good time. Like, we got to somehow nerd it up. But instead of just playing paintball, we rigged our phones with an Android app for the Android users and the iPhone app for the iPhone users. At any given time, you could pull up your phone and see where, where the people were all over the, all over the course. Nobody really had time to look at their phone or they'd get shot, right? So it wasn't practical in that regard. But even though that was just for fun, there's really practical applications to that kind of software. I'm Mark Mahoney, co-founder of Jackrabbit Technologies. We're a software as a service company. We offer a web-based class management and billing system. Parents want to register their children online. They don't want to have to go into these dance studios or gymnastics gyms anymore. They don't want to fill out a piece of paper. And it really gives the studios and the schools a big competitive advantage that they can register and pay online. We wanted a, a name that was memorable and that we could give some personality to. A majority of our customers are women that teach, you know, teach these lessons, and they love the bunny. We have it on mouse pads, uh, we have it on t-shirts, um, and we are coming out with a bobblehead, which we think is going to be a, a big hit. We started out virtually because, of course, it was a side business for several years, and we actually began hiring stay-at-home moms to help us, so we live an instant messenger. Now our premise is we take good care of our customers, take good care of our employees who take good care of our customers, then our customers will sell more of our software. 